I'm just videoing how to, at least how I am cleaning the corrector plate on this ancient orange C8. I tried using some, whatever this is, aero clips and um, after I'd used it, I could still see streaks. So I went back to what I'd seen somewhere else using warm soapy water first and the usual pet pads. So they recommend folding them this way, thus, and then putting some warm soapy water grips along the edge like that and going round quadrant at a time. So I've marked sort of where I know I am and I recommend just doing this. And at the end pick it up, then turn it over. So we're on the other edge. At the end, warm soapy water drops. and round again on the inside and pick it up Oops. and I don't know if you can see but you probably can't at this stage Let's see turn it round I'll uh I don't know how successful this will be at trying to show what I'm Trying to get rid of, zoom in a bit, but there are faint greasy sort of marks. Well, not marks, just kind of a film all the way around. And I tried using the lens cleaner, and all it really did was move them around. So you really can't see them. But that's what I'm trying to get rid of. So picking up where I left off. I'm using these single peg pads and I can definitely see the difference before and the after. After using the, the warm soapy water it's completely clear and before I can see these, I guess it's the grease from however many years this is, 30, this is an old orange tube C8. I'd heard that the, the grease inside, gases or something, but good old Dawn dish soap and some warm water is definitely getting rid of it. So again I'm doing a quadrant, pick it up at the end, turn it over, warm soapy water, love the laundry soap, around that quadrant on the inside too. I'm pressing quite firmly, but not really hard, if you know what I mean. And picking it up at the end, discard that. Yeah, that's much cleaner. So I'm going to find my mark, rotate it so I get another quadrant, which will be there. Another pick pad. I also tried uh, one of these lens brushes, and all that did, you could see it was moving the, what presumably is the grease, around. It was just creating kind of streaks. So, a lot of the advice I'd seen was to use a brush first. But really all that did was just move the streaks. And I can see a definite difference. So, going in here, I can do this quadrant, overlap a little bit. And pick it up, turn it over. I don't want to use that stuff. Warm soapy water, grips are on the edge. And do the inner quadrant too. And pick it up at the end. Oh, that's much clearer. Again, I'm looking at my mark and turn around, get another quadrant. might want to tune out at this stage, getting a bit boring, you get the general concept. Well, the difference is uh, really unbelievable. I can see where all that haze was coming from. 
I don't know where it was affecting the viewing, but uh, now I'm just going over it with this, whatever this stuff is, I've tried to use it first. Aero clips, digital sensor, cleaning fluid. And uh, same thing, I'm just doing a folded over pet pad. And I'm gonna do a quadrant at a time. Okay, well I did the inside of the corrector plate, as you've seen, and uh, the difference is amazing. All the haze is gone, like it was visi <coughs> visible before. Um, now I'm just going to repeat the soapy water on the outside. I didn't do that before, I just went round with the, the fluid. But um, since it was so successful, I think, whilst the thing is out, I'm just going to go around and redo the front. Be careful not to remove my mark because I've got an alignment mark there. And as you can see, we use quite a big pile of these pet pad things. Um, and that's empty, it's all gone. So in one cleaning. Now I'm going to put this back on and uh, before it gets dusty. Well, here it is without the plate. And uh, I don't know if you can see, but there are little cork shims. There's one there, not a little one there. And I think there's a tiny one at the top, yes, just there. So they stayed in place. Yeah, so I made a little mark there and a little mark there just to try and realign things. So let's see if we can get it in without disturbing the, the cork. And realign those little marks. I don't know if it matters, but I figure that it can't hurt. Is that where it was? Just try and lift it up over the nibs there. Everything seems to be nicely lined up. I'm going to tip it up a bit so it doesn't drop out. That would be a bit of a disaster. Yep. Oh, what a difference. You can't see, but I'm sure, but it's just completely clear. <laughs> it's like a new one. <laughs> I'm so pleased. Okay, this is the ring that uh, we took out. Again, I marked it, but I don't think it makes any difference. There's one mark. Here it is. That went up there. Just line this up. Lost me hole. I don't know where that hole's going. There it is. And put the screws back. Start with the one at the top. A bit asked about a face, but basically this is what I use. Just a bowl of uh, soapy water, about two or three drops of Dawn dish soap and some warm water. Pet pads. I tried this brush, um, but I didn't like the result. It basically just moved the grease around. Uh, a little eyedropper, and uh, this was to take any residue from the warm soapy water away. Uh, a little marking pen, just to mark before you took it off, and a blower. Uh, I don't know what the blower did, I blew it, but I couldn't see anything. And that was the result of these pick pads. I used an awful lot of them, and that uh, is just good. 
If you look at the scope now, I'll do one more looky. And it's uh, really nice. Uh, also worth mentioning, um, I had a damp towel and a damp paper towel well wrung out underneath the plate when I was working on it, just so as any dust didn't uh, go up into it.